Uh, hello, so today we are looking at um, uh, the first problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest um, 1220 convert binary number in a linked list to an integer. Um, so this is the first problem, so it's an easy problem. And the problem says we get a, a linked list, right, uh, where we get um, as input the head, which is a reference node to, to this single linked list. And the value of each node in the linked list is just zero or one, so it's binary. And the linked list represents um, the binary representation of a number. And we want to return the decimal value of the number in the linked list. So, for example, with one zero one, this one here, this is the binary representation for five because two to the power of zero multiplied by one, that's one. Just the normal conversion for a binary to to a number and then plus zero, so that would be just one, plus two the, to the power of two multiplied by one, which is four, so four plus one, that's five, and similar thing for the rest of the, of the examples. And the linked list, the constraint we have are that it's not empty, the number of nodes will not be more than three, and each node, the value is just zero, one. So um, how can we solve this problem? So the first thing that comes to mind at least for me is that when using Python there is a, a useful utility function that is called int where you could just pass it a string and the base um, what well, which just describes if we are working on base 10 for decimal numbers or in base 2 for binary numbers and if you give it a string that represents the binary representation and give it the base it will give you the uh, value that is represented by that binary representation and so I could just use this, and so the, the part that is left is just to obtain this string, right? And so how can I obtain the string? Well, that's pretty simple. I could just start with the string empty and go through the linked list, and as I find um, of values, I just append them to the, to the string. So it's pretty straightforward. So let's see how would that look like. So first, um, so the first thing we need to do is just we need to have the string that we will, will be using. And then we will need to go through the linked list. So while it's not empty, what we need to do is add the, the value that we encounter, right? Because we are constructing the binary string. And so to do that, we're just going to take the head dial. And since it's um, an integer value that is 0 or 1, I'm using string here to convert it so that it can be added to a string, right? And then after that, I advance my pointer um, so that I can get the next value. And at the end, now I have the binary string in the variable s. I could just convert it using the method that I mentioned in Python in base2 and return this. And that's pretty much it. And then I can run this. And we can see here that it passes for 5. Um, let's try an example, another example here. Let's try this one just to make sure. Um, Okay, so that looks good. Let's submit. Okay, so that passes. In terms of um, time complexity here, um, we are doing one pass, so it's um, just O of n, right? And in terms of um, space complexity, we are not doing it. We are not using the only extra space basically we are using here is this variable s, and so it's O of 1 um, space complexity. Um, okay, so next we'll see if we can solve this in a slightly different way. Um, okay, so let's see how can we solve this problem a slightly different way. So um, what we have in the example was 1, 0, 1. So if we have a binary, the usual way we do this is by doing 2 to the first, taking the first digit. So 1, 2 to the power of 0, plus and then taking the second one, which is this 0 here then 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 2 to the power of 2 right and then we get like 1 plus 0 plus 4 which is 5 right but the problem with this is that we are going in this direction but with a linked list the direction we have is this way so it's this direction instead so how can we do this basically so this is something that we usually do when we want to convert a string 
we will do the same thing basically when we have a linked list representing a ba um, an integer value, but we will be multiplying by 10, right? So here, the way we do that is just saying, okay, let's take first the first element first. So let's take this one. And then what we will do is, so we would have a result that is equal to zero, right? And so, uh, is, so yeah, we'd have first a result that is equal to zero, right? And so the first thing we will do is that we will add, so we will add the value. So here we would add one, right? And so now our result is one. And then what would happen is when we go to the next iteration, we'll take that one and we multiply it by two because now we know there is a number behind it so we know that its power is one w at least one more so if it was one zero then this one needs to be multiplied by two to the power of one so we need to multiply by two and so when we go to the next pointer and it's not nil what we will do is we will do res um we will multiply the result by two right and then once we obtain that we go again we have another one we will multiply the result by two on every transition basically whenever we know that we have another number after it that means we need to multiply by two so that we can get the power correctly the other thing is that we need to add the value so every time also when we encounter a value here what we will do is we will say okay let's add that value so to the result right so that would be plus zero here and here we would add res plus one so why are we doing this well because we want to add so we add zero right and so in the next multiplication by two it will have two to the power of one and zero adding it all basically that's adding nothing but for this case we'll, so that we can add that value right so this is kind of simulating if we were going backward but instead of multiplying by the entire power once we will keep multiplying and then in aggregate once we are done it will get this power right here right here and so this is what we will be doing and essentially that means we could just um, do something like this so we could have a result equal to zero and then while we have a pointer while the linked list is not empty what we will do is remember what we said each transition will multiply by two for the first one because res equal to zero, it will do nothing. So it would be as if we initialize it to the first value. So that's fine. And then we will add whatever value is in the current pointer, right? That's what we did here, adding one here, right? And so we would add the value, in the first pointer. And then after that, we will need to advance the pointer to the next, um, to the next node, right? So that would be head equal to head dot next. And with this, we will end up um, having the final result in res, right? So let's type this in, in lit code and see if it works. Okay, so let's type the solution that we just saw in the overview here and see if it works. So we said that we are going to still keep advancing the pointer like this, um, but we are going to use a result that it gets initialized to zero and on each iteration we are going to multiply it by two because that means there is another power for that number and then we will add whatever the value that is in the current node which is head dot bar and that's pretty much it at the end we can just read down res okay so that looks good I'll submit so that passes this this is the same thing o of n um, time complexity and of one space complexity another thing we can do to speed this up a little bit so multiplying by two in binary is the same thing as shifting like this um, and plus is the same thing as doing an or like this and so we could do it this way we could also make this just one iteration and so that means here instead of doing these two we could just say res is equal to res shifting one uh, and ordering that with head double and that's pretty much it so I can delete this looks good I'll submit and that passes um, the uh, passes like code um, so yeah that's pretty much it for the solution 
Um, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.